Hey folks, this is Vincent Ali with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Ecosystem Coral Reef. This game supports two to six players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is 15 to 20 minutes. We actually covered Ecosystem about four months ago. That was a draft game where we drafted various animals, putting them into a grid, and depending on the combinations and the location of the cards in these grids, we would score points. Well, the Coral Reef version of this game is pretty much exactly the same, except that it's just marine life. It's for sea animals and the like. So if you've played Ecosystem, then you should be familiar with how this game is played. But I'll give you a general rundown anyway, for those of you tuning in for the first time. Here's a quick look at the box it's just, just that. There is a bag in there. This is a look at the rule book. It's about uh, 11 or 12 pages. There is a solo mode and some general just information in the back of the manual should you want to read up on that. There's some special two-player rules. In the two-player game that we're about to play, just like in regular ecosystem, there's going to be a AI opponent. They don't actually add cards to their grid, but you will randomly remove one of their cards during a turn before you pass it to the next player. This is one of those pick a card, put it down, pass. Pick a card, put it down, pass. Much like Sushi Go and, of course, Ecosystem. Um, so there is a AI opponent and they have 10 cards just like the rest of us and we'll be discarding one at random before we pass it. Now, they're... Um, there is a certain card that, when played, will be counted at the end of the game based on majority. I don't remember which one it is. I think it was a Plankton. There we go. Uh, plankton majority scores 12, 8, or 4 points. So any cards that the AI plays will count toward that in a two-player game, but otherwise they have no effect on scoring other than that. So we just have to make note of any Plankton cards that are randomly taken out of their hand. Um, so, the game is played over two rounds. Each round, players receive ten cards from this shuffled deck. And, like I said, pass, uh, play a card, pass. Play a card, pass, until you've played all ten of your cards. You're aiming for a four by five grid for a total of twenty cards. It's going to be four up and five across, is how that works. And after two rounds, players will score based on each type of marine life they've got in their in their tableau. There's coral, krill, and plankton, for example. You're going to score those, then you'll subtotal it here. Then you're going to score your groupers, clownfish, and crab, then you're going to score that uh, here. And then you've got eel, shark, and whale. Those are your predators. You're going to score that here. And then there's a food web, which you take the lowest of those three, and that's just you just add that there. Turtle and octopus are two marine life that do not belong to any of these three classifications, um, so they just they're on their own. And then you total that up, and whoever has the most wins. It's very simple. Here's a quick overview of the different cards slash creatures slash marine life that are in the game and how they all score. Uh, because this is our first time playing. We're going to be taking our time looking at this, probably trying to figure out what the best combination is. More than likely, she'll destroy me no <laughs> as per usual. But yeah, pause if you want to see this in greater detail. Okay, so each of us has one of these guide cards, and we each have ten cards, so let's just have at it. I'm going to take a look at my hand of cards. She'll take a look at her hand, and I'll just go ahead and just remove one at random from the AIs, and I'll just put that in a face-up pile. Um, you know, if it's not a plankton, I'm just going to sort of just move it over here for the time being, just so it's out of sight, out of mind. And I'm going to pick one of these cards and play it. Um, so based on this guide that I've got here, um, this coral, three points if played on the bottom row. Um, it's worth mentioning that whenever you play uh, subsequent cards after your first card, they have to be adjacent. So you have to play adjacent to existing cards, um, adjacent meaning uh, orthogonal, up, down, left, right, not diagonal. Um, so out of all these cards, I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to, now we reveal at the same time, and you've got a shark, mm -hmm. all right, and I've got a coral, which I'm going to put on my bottom row, just because it belongs there, and I'm going to pass the computers to you. That goes to the computer, and this goes to me. And I'm going to remove one at random, whatever. This is a clownfish, 
And now we get to pick a new card out of this stuff. Um, there's another shark. Sharks love to be in the same row as prey, which are like the regular fish. Anything with a blue icon they really like. So, but I have to play adjacent to an existing card. So maybe I move up from that. Is there a card that feeds off of the coral? Um, let's see, this one. Um, four points for each adjacent fish, but only if the eel is adjacent to a coral. Um, two points for each adjacent plankton or coral. So some, so the eel and the clownfish do seem to feed off of the coral. Another question is, do I have, I do. So I'm gonna play this one and put that face down. And okay, for each adjacent, uh, four points for each adjacent, okay. So I'm gonna put that face down. You played a card face down. I'm gonna review mine. It's an eel and you're gonna review a crab. Okay, and that's fine. And I'm gonna put that like so. All right, so my hand go, or his hand goes to you, that one goes to that, and this one comes here. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to remove one at random. That is a shark. And yeah, those sharks are really good. They score, uh, sharks score two points for each adjacent, oh, for each fish, a a any prey type in the same row or column, which is really good. Um, no, I need, okay, there's another one of those, but I'm looking for, ooh, Okay, I might want something like this, but uh, to put adjacent to that. So I'm gonna play this card, I think. And, all right, so that's good. I'm gonna play this card and I'm gonna reveal. It's a clownfish. I'm gonna put that right here. And you're gonna play a crab. There you go. And so this goes to you, this goes to them, and this goes to me. All right, and then we remove a card at random. It's, uh, what is that one? That is Plankton. Plankton majority scores 12, eight, four points. Uh, oh, Plankton is something that is counted for them at the end of the game. So oh, they've got one Plankton while we have zero. So they've got majority right now on that. Interesting. Yeah, so now I'm gonna look at the cards you just gave me and I'm tempted to add one of them because the clownfish likes Plankton. Uh, who points for some plankton or coral? Okay, um, I'm tempted, although I kind of want to... I didn't see any more coral, unfortunately. So, out of all of these, probably this one? Although, yeah, see, none of these are fish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this card and reveal. It's just plankton, so I'm going to put that right here next to the clownfish. And the computer gives you, and this comes to them, and this goes to me. I'm gonna remove one at random, whatever, this one, sure. It's a turtle. All right, so that goes away. All right, and now, let's see. That's a decent one. Ooh, what's, okay, so it's a choice between these two. Now, what do they do? Okay, so uh, that one, two points for each plankton in the same row. Not super helpful. Um, this one was three points for each adjacent krill, and krill is that. Um, I've seen that somewhere. So maybe I put this there, next to the eel there. Um, or I put this up here and then feed off, put the krill somewhere up there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, because uh, I do see that there's some krill that could be reserved for me later. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play this one face down right there. And did you figure something out? Sure. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna put the crab there and you're gonna put, you're really going after those sharks. I guess. Yes, I <laughs> so uh, this goes to you, this goes to them, this goes to me, and then I'll just shuffle, 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 take one. It is a krill. Mm -hmm. And that goes away. Okay, so based on what you've given me, there's something I may want to put down. Okay, so let's see. The krill one. Krill score one, four, or nine points for connected groups of krill. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep krill together if I can. 
Um, so this is like the bottom row, so I've got room up here to expand if I do that. Um, I just don't know how much many more krill are in the game. So I am going to take, I think, that one uh, because they like that. So I'm going to put that here probably? Or do I put that up here? I might put this up here and for my top row already. Okay, and reveal. And it is a krill. And again, the krill is, okay, the, oh, was that, the, yeah, the crab, two points for each adjacent. Oh, I should put that here in the row. So krill should go, oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, what am I thinking? What was I thinking with this? The krill. Yeah, the krill, no, what is, what does the krill want? One, four, nine points for connected groups. Yeah, but I was thinking of something else. Why am I, why am I messing with the krill? I had it in my head and now I can, the grouper likes the krill. But maybe I'm looking at the wrong card or thinking of the wrong card. Uh, okay, in that case, maybe I don't pick that one. Sorry. I'm going to pick a different one. This is this is why I'm old and confused. That's All right. why I let you, you know, redo. I see. <laughs> We're playing cash. I see. I see how that is. Okay. Um, maybe this eel, though, needs to be next to that. Okay, so that's not going to work either. So maybe I'll just play... Um, I'll just play one of these guys. I mean... Turtles are, what is it? Two points for each row and column containing at least one turtle. So maybe I'll put that up here and that's my one column. So I'll just put the turtle above the crab there. And there we go. Now I've picked what I wanted. What'd you put down? A plankton? The plankton. Okay. Sounds good to me. Disney SpongeBob. SpongeBob. There you go. <laughs> He's going to steal the Krabby Patty. Mm -hmm. All right. So that and that and that. Mm -hmm. And that's you. Yep. And then we just take one at random, whatever one. Okay, it was a krill. <laughs> okay. And not a whole lot of options here. Thank you so much. Um, I could do the octopus. The octopus scores three points. When played, you may immediately move one card or swap two cards. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I like any of those. The plankton, what is the plankton? Majority, okay, maybe I might want to focus on that. I'm going to put that right there. Hmm. Although plankton, what likes to be next to plankton? Clownfish. What if I put, the plankton doesn't have to be on the bottom row, I think. The plankton can be... The plankton can actually be here, so if the if the clownfish likes plankton, then I could put that there. Okay, and then this will save room for more coral. Maybe. <laughs> I, I'm totally losing my train of thought. Like, I thought I had a plan, and now it's just coming apart. Alright, you good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to put the plankton there. And you have a grouper, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, uh, this goes to you, this goes to them, this goes to me. Reveal, I'll just, to be fair about it, we'll just do something like that. <laughs> to krill. All right, what do we got here? Turtle, krill, lots of krill. Maybe I should have stuck with the krill. Uh, another turtle. Um, I might actually do that. I'm actually going to put that, um, now I, the problem here is that if I put it here, that messes up with the crab. Two points for each plankton in the same row. Uh, maybe the plankton should have gone there. That I should have done that. Okay. Um, or I could play this one there and keep up with that majority bonus, and the clownfish will feed off of that for each adjacent plankton and coral. Okay, uh, let's do that. I'm going to put that here, make up for my previous mistake and reveal, and this is plankton, oh, and you got plankton as well. Okay, so that goes to them, yeah, and that, and we want at random, da, 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 whatever, to turtle, and more plankton, or an eel. The eel has to be next to a coral. Now I could put the eel down here, and so as long as it's next to this, but the problem is it's only gonna score here or here. Um, so do I keep up with the plankton thing going nuts? Like maybe I put the plankton over here and allow the crab to feed off of it. Two points for each plankton in the same row. Um, 
So the crab could score be four points if I put that here, which I could possibly do. If I can get another clownfish there, that would feed off this eel as well. So maybe I will do that. I will go ahead and put that there. And this goes to the that, and they discard that, and I'm yeah. still waiting. Hold Take on. your time. You're fine. You've got two cards. Dang it, man. I don't like any of these. Oh, tell me about it. These are awful. I'm just going to do Falafel it. Falafel even. All right. All right. And this is just an octopus. Octopus. Now that allows... I'm, I'm not going to swap anything. Okay. So this is the card from the computer. This is the one you gave me. Ugh. I'm going to put this down here. I'm just going to do that. Oh, this should have been revealed. This is plankton, and I'm going to put this down here next to this here. If I can get a, a fish to put here, the eels will feel, uh, feed off that. Dang it. I should have put my octopus up here. <laughs> do you want to... You got to wreck no, on it. Wreck on it. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will minus uh, three oh, points stop. at You're the You're fine. End I am not... This is not a game where we have to crush each other, okay? <laughs> All right, so that ends the first round, and now we deal 10 to each player again. Mm -hmm. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm an expert dealer. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the computer. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. I'm going to do this more slowly if you keep laughing at me. Ten. All right, so no more cards for the rest of the game. That's it. Oh, man. I was going to be nice to you. I want that I... back. No, I'm, oh, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, right, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was uh, sure you weren't. I was sure at your you weren't. Skills. What's wrong with my... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right there. Okay. Two points. Four points. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I'm sure there were other options, but that's the one I was looking for right there. Mm hmm Okay. Um. Okay. You good? All right, so this goes to you, this goes to the computer, and this comes to me. And you reveal. And I reveal it's a clownfish. Yep. And one at random, just whatever, this one. It's a whale. We haven't seen the whales yet. The whale is, before scoring, flip one adjacent card face down, two points for each krill in your ecosystem. Wow. I don't have a whole lot of krill in my eco ecosystem, so that's kind of useless. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at that one to get more turtles in there, but uh, krill, coral, mm -hmm. uh, grouper likes adjacent krill. Oof. I might want to do that one. Um... You said four by five grid? Yes, so four up and down. So you've got one more row here, or mm -hmm. under here, okay. or and then one here or one here, yeah. depending on where you want to place it. That's right. Um, okay, so based on what I'm seeing here, I mean, I kind of want to go for that one to keep up, because I've got a row or column here. So if I put this, say, over here, or maybe over here, this would be five, though. If I did, if I put this, no, I'd want a fish next to this, I think. I could put that, uh, I'll hope for another one. So I can do something like this, uh, this turtle over here, and this is a row, column, row, col yeah. So I'd be getting some extra points there. Okay, so turtle here, and what did you do? Shark. Shark! You're going to score so many points mm -hmm. on those sharks, it's ridiculous. I think it's just a cop-out, honestly. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> All right, so the computer will just take one at random, whatever. Uh, this is the krill. Okay. And mm -hmm. let's see. More clownfish. No, more turtle. Um, okay, well, I'm tempted. Clownfish like to be next to coral and plankton. So, I'm um, tempted here or here, um, although I do want another fish down here so he can feed off that. Um, there's, there's a lot of clownfish in this deck. 
Okay, so uh, just to keep the points flowing, um, I think I'm going to do something like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to reveal. This is another clownfish, which love adjacent plankton. Mm -hmm. And what'd you get? A shark. a shark! Of course you got a shark! Great! So that, that, you're going to beat me on sharks alone. No, you have good adjacency. I'm not even paying attention to any of that. <laughs> you're just going after the sharks. Going after the Clownfish, sharks. okay. All right, what do we got here? Um, ooh, okay, there's some crabs. Uh, I could put the crab down here, and crabs score t uh, two points for each plankton in the same row. So if I put the, sh the crab down here, I could get a two points there in that same row, and this feeds this. I think that, that's six points. That's not bad. Um, so I think that's the smart play here. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to reveal my crab. And this goes like that. Mm -hmm. And we will just grab one at random. It is the turtle. Okay. <clears throat> and what did you give me? I could put a plankton down there to help feed the crab, but I kind of want more points than that. The coral, uh, three points if on the bottom row, just by itself. The eel loves to be next to fish, but only if it's next to a coral. I don't have any krill. I'm kind of wondering if I should start adding krill to this. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm doing too much. You've got two plankton in your in your ecosystem. I've got four, so I might be overdoing it with that. Um, unfortunately, this is only one point. If I put this in, and three points for each adjacent krill. I don't know of any other things that tie in with krill. Um, yeah. You said a four by five grid. Right? Yes. So it you can't put anything down here. Oh. Okay. It has to be four up and down, five across. Oh, I see, I see. So four up and down yes. and five across. Yes. I, see, I see, So what I've got now is four okay. up and down, five That's across. Fine. I have to fill in this, this, and this. Um, uh -huh. But all of these are awful. So I'm going to sort of guarantee my end game and just do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. That's just plankton, so the crab can feed off of it. Mm -hmm. Um... I could have put coral here, that would have been three points instead of an extra two, but I kind of want to make sure that I've got majority. Mm -hmm. So there's that, and that, and that. And from his hand, that's the octopus. All right, and let's see. Oof. You said five by four, four by five. I'm getting all confused. This is you're you're at your limit. No more here and no more here. You okay. can only build left and build right. Left from, and right. Okay, okay. At this point, only left and right. Okay. Okay. Um, I can get rid of a card with this one. It has to be adjacent though, and score all the krill in my ecosystem. And I kind of want to stick with something like this. Unfortunately, no matter where I put it, it's going to be in the same row or column as an existing turtle. So that's kind of crappy. That would just be an extra two points, I think. Um, but what would I do with this mess? I don't want any more plankton. <laughs> I mean, I got so much plankton. Turtles, um, uh, yeah, two points for each row or column containing. Now I could, if I get an octopus, maybe switch two cards around, assuming there's any left in the deck. I don't remember seeing any. So I think I will play a turtle up here in the hopes of possibly switching two cards around later. Maybe putting it down here, uh, if I'm able. So, um, I'm not sure where I'd place it, to be honest. Yeah, all right, fine, good enough. So that goes to you, this goes to them, and this goes to me, and uh, I have to oh, shuffle these and take one card out. It is a plankton. Oh, that's two for them. Did I miss any more? Sometimes I put the plankton in here when I shouldn't. No, that's it. Mm -hmm. Just two plankton for them. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Krill, turtle. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of turtles. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, well, the clownfish get two points for each adjacent, um, two points for each adjacent plankton. So maybe I put another plankton up there, or do I put another turtle? You know what? Let's go. Let's go with that. I think. Mm -hmm. Choices are starting to get limited. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Okay. I'll do... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got a plankton and you got a krill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there and there and there. And one of these will be krill. All right. What do we got? Boo. The <laughs> <laughs> you did this on purpose. Possibly. All of these I cannot play. Well, I could put the coral here. It just won't be worth anything. Uh, I could put it... I could do something like that with it. And hope I get an eel there and then another fish there. Or vice versa. I could put that here. I mean, this eel... Only scores if it's adjacent to coral. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Um, I have to maybe do something like this. And yeah. One of these has to go away. And now, I have a question. Yep. Even if I built a plankton, I still only get the second place. Is that how it is? It's based on, we're going to look at the computers. Oh. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be three scores. Oh, one for geez. me, one for the computer, one for you. You are tied for the computer right now. Okay. In, in majority. Ugh. Assuming Actually, no more planktons get put out. Yeah. And this would be two cards left, right? Yes. There's two cards left. So that would be an extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, so the whale actually like disables a card. Yes, disables a card and then scores points for each krill in your ecosystem. That's so. So if hard. you put a whale down, you can flip over one of these crabs, and then you score on all the krills, no matter where they are. Yeah. But how you know? Yeah. It's a way of getting like a whale would be great for me, but I have no krill, so yeah. it doesn't matter. All right. all right. So this is yours. And this is mine. And this was just the coral that you gave me. Thank you very much. Mm, the plankton. Mm -hmm. um, why do I have three cards? I don't know. Did we forget to get rid of one from the computer? All right, here, do this. I shouldn't have three cards. I should have two. So pick one at Does random. Does the computer have two? Uh, no, it's... He has one left. Hmm. Which... So wait a minute. So you have two. have two. The computer should have two as well. So here, pick one to put into the computer's pile. There, that one. All right. So now I get rid of one. Did or did you? Already I already did that earlier. So I don't know why we have an extra card. I think it was we forgot to do that one. So I'll just get rid of this eel here, whatever. And now I have to choose between these. That's not terrible. Um, I um, that's that could actually help me out because that's going to go to them. So I'm going to take this and put this. I think here. This goes to you, this goes to them, this is a plankton, and this goes to me. And you have to play, okay, so I just have, I have that, which is awful. It's a whale. Oh no! <laughs> so it's the so whale. I have to do it. Dad stinks! Sorry. So the whale is disabled, before scoring, flip one adjacent card down. Two points for each krill in your ecosystem. That yeah. could help you out though. I'll do, I'll minus three points and then get six points for the krill, I okay. guess. Okay, makes sense. That's right. All right, so now we will score our, this is another useless turtle. Oh, <laughs> not useless. Well. Turtles are awesome. They are awesome. <laughs> it's just they're not positioned very well. 
Okay, so uh, coral. Uh, coral is this one here. It's three points if on the bottom row. Mm -hmm. um, I flipped mine over. You flipped your coral. Okay, so I have three points and you have zero. Mm -hmm. Krill. Um, I have zero krill. And the way yours work, one, four, nine points for connected groups. So you get one point for this one and four points for this one. So a total of five. Okay. Is that how it works? Well, read it. What one. does it say? Oh, okay. Okay. One, four, or nine points for each connected one, two, or three plus krill. Okay. So you have one down here. I thought this wouldn't even count. No, it says one... Four, nine for one, two, or three. So and you're going to get five points total. Mm -hmm. Plankton. Whoever has majority. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The computer has three. I have three. And you have three. So you're going to split. I think you both get eight points. Eight points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get eight. I get 12. Mm -hmm. The grouper, which I don't have. Do you have a grouper? You I have, do. Yeah, I have three. For each adjacent krill, right? So three points for him and three points for him. All right, so six. Okay. Okay. Clownfish. Clownfish. Do you have any clownfish? I have one. All right, and you get uh, two points for each adjacent plankton or coral. Four points. All right, you got four points for your clownfish. This one is two, four, six. Wow. This one is two, four, six. And this one is two. So six plus 14. six is 12, 14 points. Nice. I'll that's take, really good. Well, that's my... Big, one of my bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Crab. Um, where's your crabs? Right here. Right here and here. Oh, I should have moved this one a bit. Oh, well, whatever. So you get two points, for, two each points for each plankton in that same row? Is that what it said? Yeah. So there's... This two. crab scores two. This crab scores two because of this one plankton. Okay. This one scores two. And one this one... nothing. Nothing. Cause... Okay, so you get uh, six points. Right, for your <sighs> crabs? I was hoping, hoping more. My yeah. crab gets four for this one ah. and four for this one. So that's eight points total. Nice. Four for this row, four for this row. Uh, eel. Mm -hmm. uh, eels are one of my bigger ones. It's uh, four points for each adjacent mm -hmm. fish, uh, only if adjacent to a coral. So here's my coral, here's my eel. They're adjacent to the coral. This one is connected to fish, fish, fish. So this is 12. Oh, wow. And this is uh, 8. So 12 plus 8 is 20. Um, what about your eels? Um, I have no eels. No <laughs> eels, okay. Sharks, I'm no sharks, but you mm -hmm. have plenty of sharks. Mm -hmm. You get... Sharks get two points for each fish in the same row or column. You're going to score huge. No, not really. Because there weren't enough sharks, honestly. Well, here's... We'll start with this, this one. Oh, okay. Two points for this one. Two. And then no. nothing. So two <laughs> points for this shark. Mm -hmm. This one going... This is four. Yeah. Six, eight, ten. Mm -hmm. So four... Uh, ten plus two is twelve, 12 so far. Then for this one... Um, Two, four, four six. six, so 18, and then 20 for this row. This was two points, so 18 plus 2 is 20. What was 18? You had 6 from this row, so 12 plus 6 is 18. Oh, yeah, I had 12 from before. You had 12 <laughs> before, 6 plus 6 is 18, okay. plus 2 is 20. Mm -hmm. This one is... 2, 4. 2, 4. And 2. And so that's 26 total? Because you had 20 to start. I think so. Yeah. Let's try Feel that. free to count again, but I'm I pretty will. sure it's 26. I had zero whales. And you have uh, two points for each krill in your ecosystem. So that would be yeah. six points. So you got six points for your whale as well. Okay. Because two points for each krill. Okay. All right. So now we subtotal... Our producers, prey, and predator. My producers came to 15 and yours came to 13. Mm -hmm. My prey came to 22 and yours came to 16. Your predators came to 32, Yeesh. which is great. Mine came to 20. 
Um, then the food web, we take the lowest of those three scores. Your lowest was 13 and my lowest was 15. Now we're on to turtle and octopus. Mm -hmm. Turtles uh, score two points. Let's see. It would be turtles, 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 turtles. Two points for each row and column containing at least one turtle. This row contains a turtle, so two, nope, four, nope, and then six, yes, mm -hmm. eight, ten, twelve, wow. nope. So twelve points for my turtles. Do um, you have any turtles? No. Okay, and octopus. Do Oct you have any octopus? I have one. Octopus just scores three points. Yep. All right, and I have zero octopus. All right, so based on that, we add these bottom numbers here. So... 15 plus 22 is 37, that's 57, 57 plus 15 is 72, 72 plus 12 is 84, I'll recheck that later, 13 plus 16 is 29, 29 plus 32 is 61, 61 plus 13 is 74, 74 plus 3 is 77. So if I did the math right, 84 to 77, Good job. which isn't terrible. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for my turtles, I probably would have lost the game. <laughs> Even though they were horribly misplaced. Yeah, they were really good. They, you got one turtle in each column, almost. Yeah, almost. I would prefer to stagger them to get more row and columns. Like yeah. ideally it would be four or mm -hmm. five. One, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and then maybe one here. But... That's what I was trying to do with the sharks and but I just there wasn't enough fish. You you kept taking all the fish. Well I needed the fish <laughs> to feed the eels. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was good. So what did you think of this? Did you have any It was busy. Busy? <laughs> it was too busy. I, I liked the other one better, but Ecosystem, I feel, had more cards than this one did. Yeah, this one was okay. I'm not too um, knowledgeable with fish, so it was easier for me to, to track the um, the other uh, mm -hmm. game. With you mean you Predator. like the other ecosystem? You like the other ecosystem, the base, yeah. the other land-based ecosystem better. Yeah. My only complaint with this one is uh, some de some of these pass and play games. I would have preferred like 12 cards and then the remaining two are just simply removed from the game. Yeah. That way you've got more choice. When you're down to one or two cards and they're useless, you can easily screw over your opponent. Mm -hmm. Sushi Go has the same problem where everyone plays every single card and that's it. Mm -hmm. Whereas there was a game that we just played. I don't remember the name of it, but um, it was one of the game right ones, I think, mm -hmm. where you know we had two extra cards and those were removed like we actually were dealt more cards than what were needed to fill our grid but the remaining two just threw out we discarded so i like that that way you're not stuck with uh cards that you don't need or want you mm -hmm. know what i mean so i would have prefer i would yeah. if i were to play this again i would add that personal variant to this game yeah, to give us more choice because i didn't even want this card these both these cards and i didn't even want the coral, <laughs> you didn't so, want the coral. i didn't want anything i just wanted fish <laughs> uh -huh. um yeah. i don't know if we saw all of them i'm pretty sure we did uh okay. sharks it looks like we did. yeah i'm pretty sure we covered all of them mm -hmm. There's, yeah, I was looking at the grid. And, I, and we, sure we did we cover... Did. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So as you can... There's plenty of cards in this deck, so it's gonna... Your experience will change as you play this game mm -hmm. uh, because you're not gonna get the same loadout of cards all the time. You can do this game with, like, any cards, I think. Like, you we think? can do that with Hero Realms. No. With Hero Realm cards. Just take, like, one card, like... Of, now you're speaking of nonsense. Group, and then just play it that way. You do that. <laughs> You do that. You get back to me and let me know how you think. But phasmophobia uh, ghost ghost types. You could do the same thing. <laughs> if a yokai is adjacent to an ocean. Did I mention she's off her medication? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So coral reef. I liked it. I didn't see a whole lot of difference between this and regular ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It's just a different themed one. So if you already own ecosystem and you don't really need another game like it, then you could probably pass on this one. But if you like the fish themed, or you know, if you don't own the original ecosystem and you have a choice between the two, pick the one that suits you better. Yeah. Do you like the marine life or do you like the land stuff? 
Because yeah. it's both the same game, sort of. It is. It plays exactly... It, there was even an AI opponent in the original ecosystem game. Are the abilities the exact same? Some of them are the same. I, I don't have a photographic memory, mm -hmm. but it, they've got to be the same, nearly. Mm -hmm. Only because, for balance purposes, there's only so many places that you could go with mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of the abilities are different. Um, but if I were to change anything about this game, it would be a variant that... Every player gets 12 cards instead of 10, and then when everyone's down to two, they that, that's the end of the round. They discard yeah. the rest without playing them. That's what I would do. My variant would be a co-op versus the AI. You could totally do that too if you want. <laughs> there is a solo mode. Is there? Yeah. Oh. There is a solo mode to this game. I don't know how it plays because we've never played it. But cool. Yeah. Uh, would you play this again, or would you... I mean, this is just okay. I would play it again solo mode. <laughs> solo mode. I got you. All right, Coral Reef, uh, there you go. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.